We often hear people talk about diabetic feet and diabetic foot being a problem and needing to take care of your feet if you're a diabetic. But let's talk for a minute about why, and then I would like to bring you back to a patient that we have already seen and show you the chronologic order of what was going on with her foot. When you're diabetic, one of the potential complications, whether it's type one or type two, juvenile onset, adult onset, can be that you start to lose the sensation in your feet. Now, that is described by people as it feels like I'm walking on a block of wood or I'm walking on tree stumps, they can't feel their feet. I have had patients who have come in with various objects in their feet. I have seen many times patients coming in with injuries to a foot or toe or like in this example, somebody who has something in their skin, in their foot or toe, or a blister or an infected ingrown toenail that they don't know because they can't feel their feet. So my take home for every diabetic is that you need to be checking your feet visually every single night because if something like this occurs, you're not gonna feel it. Now this gentleman came in for something completely different and we have no idea how long this had been in his foot and therefore we didn't know if maybe the bone was infected or if an infection was there. He had no idea because he couldn't feel it. So when a diabetic person who can't feel their feet, for example, gets a new pair of shoes, they have to break them in very slowly because those particular patients can't feel if the shoe is putting pressure on a certain place or rubbing on a certain place. So in this example, we see this patient who has a wound right next to the baby toe or the fifth toe as we would call it, and it's under the metatarsal head. And what this tells me is that when she walks, she puts quite a bit of pressure on that spot. So what this slide is showing you is that if there's pressure on a particular point in the skin, it squishes the blood out or um, exsanguinates the skin in that area, then you have the pressure on top of the person not knowing this is happening and not being able to feel it and move their weight or shift their weight away from that area. And what results is the skin breaks open. The same thing can happen with a severe callus in the area. So this is why we need to take particular care when we have diabetic patients, or if you are a diabetic who can't feel your feet, you need to be on top of it and you need to be making sure every single night that your feet are in okay shape. And in our practice, at least, if somebody calls in and says the words diabetic and infection in the same breath, we will get them in that day and I jokingly will always say, as long as you don't call it 3.30 in the afternoon. So uh, this is our diabetic patient with a wound coming back for her second visit. So I hope you enjoy the video. Definitely looks better than it did last time I saw you. Uh Um, so let's just make sure that the skin is intact directly over these spots here. When you came back from California, I wish you would have brought a little better weather. Yeah, I tried, I tried. <laughs> So this discoloration up here is what's left of the blood blister that was there and bleeding into the callus, but it looks fine. And then you had asked about this discoloration right here. And again, that's just left over from a little bit of a blood blister. So I'm not even going to open that up because it's not a wound under there. Okay. So not completely healed. You still have a little bit here, right in the middle, that's still open. 
So we're going to have you just keep using the antibiotic on it. You might want to move your picture here, doctor. Okay, do I know how? Oh, there it went now after you didn't. Hold on. Was my head in the way? No, no, it oh. was just way over to, oh, okay. to the side, but maybe we were moving. I probably was, yeah. Um, okay, so just until this little center part heals. We're just going to keep a little antibiotic and a Band-Aid over it. I can do that. Okay. And then just so you don't have to keep putting a Band-Aid on it until I see you again in two months, um, why don't we have you come back in about uh, two to three weeks, okay. just to make sure that this piece right here is all healed. So, because that's still open right there. All right. So this will all heal. You got good circulation. You're managing your blood sugars. This will heal. I'm not worried. All right. And how does this one look? 